Wellness for Life is brought to you by Sanford Health Clinic and Same Day Surgery Center, Paramaria Community Center, Sally's Oils, Amy Lundberg, Fitness for the Soul, Gottenborg Chiropractic Clinic, Pelican Drug Health Mart, Mojave Ottawa Community Action Partnership. Hello and welcome. I'm Sally Corbett of Sally's Oils, and today we're going to talk about the internal use of these oils. It's important to remember, though, I am referencing Young Living Essential Oils, as taking some of the other oils internally can cause harmful effects. Even with Young Living, you need to be sure and look at that label and make sure it says dietary supplement. If it does, you're good to go. One of my favorite ways to take the oils internally is in my water. But it's important to remember, I have a stainless steel container here. They need to either go in stainless steel or glass. The citrus oils especially, they attack petrochemicals. And there's petrochemicals in styrofoam and in plastic. And what happens though then is those components, they leach into your water and when you ingest them, they go into you and you don't want that. One of my favorite oils to take in my water is lemon. A lot of people also like lemon slices in their water and they ask me if it's the same thing. Well, here's the difference. This bottle of lemon oil has about 240 drops of oil in it and it comes from the rind of the fruit and it took about 35 lemons to make this. So it's much more potent and it has many health benefits. Some of the benefits that I receive from lemon oil are it boosts my immune system, it helps to flush those toxins out of my body, and also all the citrus oils contain a component called D-limonene. D-limonene has been in many studies for its anti-tumoral benefits. I love when I drink my lemon oil that I know I have all those things going on. And also, lemon oil only costs me five cents a drop. You can also cook with these oils. Young Living has several. We have basil, we have thyme, oregano, cinnamon bark, just to name a few. What is important to remember when cooking with the oils is that a little goes a long way. You might need a drop or you might need less than a drop. If you need less than a drop, you're going to do what's called a toothpick method. So you're going to open that bottle of oil. It's got a little cap on there. You're just going to take that cap off. Okay, it comes off pretty easily. You're just going to dip a toothpick in there and then you're going to put it in your recipe. One recent time when I used the toothpick method is when I had some eggnog over the holiday season and I wanted some cinnamon in it. I thought, why not try my cinnamon bark and get those benefits? Also, when cooking with the oils, you're going to find that it loses their therapeutic benefits if you heat them. So try and add them at the end of the recipe, like to a hot dish or a spaghetti sauce. You can also use these oils in an empty gel capsule. Now, these capsules you can get from Young Living or you can get them from a health food store. Now these capsules, you just open them up like this and you put the oils in there. Now, if you're careful, you can just open the bottle and you can drop the, caps, drop the oil right into the capsule like this. Now if you don't think you can do that, you can have what's called a pipette and you can get these online and you can put them in there that way. And then you just put that capsule back together and you can take it. Now why would you want the oils in a capsule? Well, if you have to take a lot of oils, I find it easier to take them in a capsule. I have one recipe that calls for six of thieves, six of oregano, and two of frankincense. And of course, if you need to dilute them topically, dilute them in the capsule also, because those capsules are gonna dissolve and you don't want them irritating anything on the inside. Another way you can take these oils, let's say peppermint on the drop of your tongue, fresh breath also helps with clearing congestion. Many different ways to use the oils internally. Be safe, enjoy. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me. And until next time, blessings and health. Coming up on Wellness for Life. My name is Dr. Nicole Cox and I'm an internal medicine physician at Sanford Health. I wanted to talk with you a bit today about preventative health maintenance and preventative health medicine. There are two fundamental aspects to patient care. The first being care for current illnesses and the second being preventative health care medicine. When I speak about preventative health care medicine, I'm addressing things which prevent patients from getting chronic illnesses as well as cancer care. 
It, during a preventative health care visit, there are several things that are addressed. First being normal, things that are addressed during an office visit, which are generally performed at every office visit, including blood pressure monitoring, weight, and body mass index testing. We also discuss things including patient's activity level and make recommendations for exercise. We also discuss the importance of monitoring for diabetes as well as high cholesterol. And again, those things are important for prevention of cardiovascular disease. During these visits, we also discuss patient's family history and need for, need for and frequency of testing for chronic illnesses. We also discuss patients need for preventative screening for colon cancer, breast cancer, and cervical cancer in females, as well as prostate cancer and colon cancer in males. We also discuss patients' family history and need for both early screening as well as frequency of screening for each of those types of cancer screening. We also discuss patients' need for screening in regards to DEXA scan, which is bone density. This is especially important in postmenopausal female patients, but also is addressed in male patients. We also talk about patients' mood, and we screen for both anxiety and depression. We also discuss patients' alcohol intake, whether this be worrisome alcohol intake, and we also discuss need for counseling and treatment in regards to alcohol dependence. We also discuss patients' smoking status, as well as options for tobacco cessation. We also like to address patients' vaccination status, including what vaccinations they've had, what recommendations are for vaccination status, as well as what we can do as far as administrating vaccines to optimize their medical health. During these visits you, is a good opportunity to discuss with your physician regarding what type of things that you should be doing in order to optimize your medical health and to prevent chronic illness from occurring. If you have any questions regarding preventative health or preventative health maintenance and recommendations, please feel free to call and arrange an appointment to set up today to talk about preventative health care. Thank you for watching Wellness for Life, brought to you by Sanford Health Clinic and Same Day Surgery Center, Paramaria Community Center, Sally's Oils, Amy Lundberg, Fitness for the Soul, Gottenborg Chiropractic Clinic, Pelican Drug Health Mart, Mojave Ottawa Community Action Partnership.